Let's practice reducing the word can. In a sentence, we're not going to say can with a big open mouth on the a. Ah. Instead, we're going to say can. You can do it. Repeat after me. Pay attention to the rhythm of my sentence. How do I connect the words together? And which words do I emphasize more than other words? Which words are louder? Which words have a higher pitch? Which words have a very clear vowel? And which words are quieter, lower pitched, with a less clear vowel, a reduced vowel? In all my examples, I put a red dot on top of the words that we're going to emphasize. I actually put the red dot right above the vowel that we're going to stretch out and make full. I can wait. I can wait. I don't stress I because it's a pronoun or can because that's the modal or function word that we're reducing. I'm going to stress wait at the end of the sentence and I'm going to build up the energy until I get there. I can wait. I can wait. So it's not, I can wait. I wouldn't equally emphasize all three words, but I'm going to feel like I'm going to prepare to throw a ball and I'm going to wind up on, I can, I can wait. And I throw the ball on wait. I can wait. I can wait. I can wait. Do you think he can reach it? Do you think he can reach it? This time we have two words to stress, think and reach, which are both verbs. I want to keep think and reach the same distance apart. So if I clap them out, it's going to sound like this. Think, reach. Think, reach. Do you think he can reach it? I want to squeeze he can or he can or he can in between think and reach. Think, reach. Do you think he can reach it? Do you think he can reach it? Do you think he can reach it? Do you know where I can get a new smile? Do you know where I can get a new smile? This time I'll stress know and get because they're both verbs. New because it's an adjective and smile because it's a noun. The tricky part here is that new and smile are right next to each other. So we're going to have to slow down in order to keep to the rhythm. Let's try it. Know, get, new, smile. Do you know where I can get a new smile? Notice how I really prolong the vowel in new. And you need to do that. We want to stretch out the vowels in our stressed words. But words like can will become a very quick kin. Do you know where I can get a new smile? Do you know where I can get a new smile? Do you know where I can get a new smile? Can he stand up straight? Can he stand up straight? I'll stress stand and up because stand up is a phrasal verb. So both of those words are important. And then we'll stress straight because it's an adverb. The can he at the very beginning is going to be very fast. It'll sound like Kenny. Can he stand? Can he stand? Can he stand up straight? So stand up and straight have to be very clear. We say them right next to each other in one breath of air, but they each get some emphasis. Can he stand up straight? I will not say, can he stand up straight? Just Kenny. You don't even need the H in he. Kenny. Can he stand up straight? Can he stand up straight? 
I think I can. I think I can. Here we stress think and can. We stress can because it is at the end of the sentence and it represents can fly. The dog thinks it can fly. I think I can. Can will actually be the loudest word in the sentence. Make sure it has a full short A, can. You will not say can. So it's not, I think I can. It's, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. When do the kids get to decide who can take their picture and who can't? When do the kids get to decide who can take their picture and who can't? These are my kids and they don't like to have their picture taken. Here we want to emphasize can't at the end of the sentence because it's a negative, but we will not emphasize the can in the middle of the sentence. Who can take their picture and who can't? When do the kids get to decide who can take their picture and who can't? When do the kids get to decide who can take their picture and who can't? When do the kids get to decide who can take their picture and who can't? You can distort your photo or do whatever you can do to make yourself look more interesting because you can. You can distort your photo or do whatever you can do to make yourself look more interesting because you can. This is a tricky one. It's a long sentence, but you can do it. The very last word is can, and we're going to stress it because it's the last word. You can distort your photo or do whatever you can do to make yourself look more interesting because you can. You can distort your photo or do whatever you can do to make yourself look more interesting because you can. Be sure to practice with the repetition audio that accompanies this lesson.